sisters, it's 50 Spine here with you once more and today we're going to go through five essentials that we think every woman should have in her closet. Diane's going to mention her five, I'll mention my five and who knows what we'll come up with but we'll see. Um, at the end of this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And hit the bell so that you get notification every time that we post. Okay, so let's get to it. What are you going to pull on with your bag? Okay, so first thing I brought. You know, Kimmy and I used to discuss these things as um, things that self-respecting women should have. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to start with my Gucci belt. It doesn't have to be a Gucci belt, but this is a pretty stable belt for us. It comes in handy and it's about a two inch belt. It's got the iconic Gucci sign on it, which again, it doesn't have to be Gucci, but a good leather black belt which is always good to have in your wardrobe. It comes in handy for all of our things. Okay, now this is gonna come as a big surprise no to you, surprise. but I have the exact same belt. <laughs> That's gonna happen. <laughs> and like you, I went with a black <laughs> Gucci belt. And the reason why I chose this belt is because, um, first of all, it's a sturdy belt, it's leather. And I like that it's um, about one and a half to two inches, which really fits well for my size and height. Um, and the reason why I think a belt should be a staple in your closet is because it can transform an outfit from just ordinary to extraordinary. I'll give you an example. I'm wearing this basic dress today and it looks okay, but the minute I put a belt on it, it um, adds a little definition to my waist and it gives the dress a completely new look. And the other thing with a belt, um, you know, it goes with a skirt, it goes with pants, it goes with just about everything. So I think this is a really essential piece that every woman should have in her closet. Okay, so my second object is, I'm sure this isn't gonna be coming to any surprise to anyone again. This is the little black dress that every woman should have for anything from an evening party, dinner, to a funeral actually. Okay, so little black dress in everybody's wardrobe. Okay, so I went with something a little along the lines of black, but it wasn't a black dress. What I think essential for every woman to have in her wardrobe is a pair of black pumps. I went with this one. It's about two inches high, which is just perfect for me. But you know, you can certainly go with a kitten heel or if you're comfortable in a higher heel, then if that works for you, go for it. I chose um, a patent leather because I think um, if you're wearing something like a pair of um, slacks or skirt, the patent leather provides a little bit of a contrast so that you know the black shines on its own. Anyway, um, I went with these Steve Maddens and they're not, they're not a very big investment piece. I think I paid about $125 for these and they're leather, so they will last a while. And um, the only maintenance these might need over time is that this little portion on the heel might need replacing over time. But as I said, that's not a big um, investment. And historically, um, Pumps have been in fashion, you know, from the beginning of time. So this is a piece that will never go out of fashion and you will get a lot of use out of well, it. Well, piece number three. No. <laughs> no it's and are they yep, and they are Steve Madden. They're the exact same. The exact same person. And again, your pumps could be patent or they could be flat one, higher, lower. But this is a good it's good length for me. And I'm not a big heel wearer, but this is sort of comfortable. They're padded and I'm not going to say they're like running shoes, but it's always good to have these. I mean, they go with your black dress. They go with everything. Exactly. Everybody exactly. loves a black pump. Exactly. Actually, I was thinking about that. I was thinking one of my lines was going to be that you can wear them just about anywhere. But I thought of some place where you probably shouldn't be wearing them. And that would be to your kid's soccer game. That yeah. wouldn't be a good look. And there's a couple places you shouldn't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, let's see. The other thing I came up with is a pair of good sunglasses. Now I have lots of sunglasses in my stash, you know, some that, you know, they come in fashion and they go out just as quickly as they came in. But this one I've had for a few years and the reason why I like these is that they're not too big or too small. And with sunglasses, um, you know, you pop them on and your look just goes to another level in no time. And when you go indoors, you can always put them over your hair like this and 
you still have them indoors or outdoors. And for some people who have long hair, they actually work as a headband. So there you go, an, an added bonus to having them. And they're protective from the sun's rays. But overall, I think this pair is a good size for me. And I think it's an essential that every woman should have in her closet. This is my fourth piece. It's my undergarment onesie. It's a uh, shapewear form fitting. This one happens to be made in form, which I usually get at the bay. And um, I think this is probably the most essential piece of garment that I have. It's very um, secure and it's very comfortable. And it really shapes you in here. As you can see, it's already shaped. You just have to slip into it. It's very comfortable. The only thing I would say about these is the wind could be an issue. They do usually have an open area here, which never ever works. So you probably pretty well have to undress once you're out and about and you have to go to the bathroom. But otherwise, and I've even found recently that sometimes I turn it around and it covers everything and I don't have to wear a bra with it. Okay, so it's multifunctional, just a great thing to have in your wardrobe. Okay, my second last piece is, ta-da, a bright, bold lipstick. And the reason why I chose this bold lipstick is that sometimes, you know, I'm in a hurry and I don't have, you know, enough time to do my full face. But if I throw on just a bold lipstick, it looks as though, you know, I took care of everything. This one is a matte finish and I, it's a MAC lipstick. The shade is Ruby Woo. I hope I'm saying that right. And the good thing about this one is that it actually stays on. So there's no need for me to reapply during the day. And sometimes if I need to have a little bit of a different look to this lipstick, I can always add some gloss to it. And then it goes from matte to glossy and without any big expense. So this bold lipstick is one of my wardrobe staples. And my fifth and final piece would be my black blazer. Um, truth be known, I guess if I had a black blazer without the white collar, that would probably be better and, more, and I actually do have one of those more efficient, but this is my go-to blazer. It's a little bit below the hips here and it's form fitting in the back. It always dresses up everything and it's comfortable. Yeah, black blazer. It seems that everything is black today, but <laughs> these are definitely the pieces I need to make my wardrobe just up and on. Exactly. Okay, so my fifth and final piece is a piece of bold jewelry. I chose this um, bangle today because it, you know, it goes with either silver tones or gold tones. And you know, normally if you're wearing a, a little bit of jewelry, such as these um, earrings or this ring, um, they don't stand out as a statement piece. But the minute you add something big and bold, you know, it draws um, everybody's eye to that piece. And it certainly adds a little bit of interest to whatever you're wearing. So whether it be a bangle or statement earrings or a necklace, I think a piece of bold jewelry um, does add a bit of pizzazz to any outfit. And for me, it would be one essential piece to have in my closet. No surprise that we came up with some of the same things, such as the same pair of pumps and the belts. And the belt. And I think we bought the belt at the same time, right? We did. Okay, how about the shoes? No, I don't think we... We bought them on I might our have own. been influenced by yours. Okay, or, oh, I, I might have been influenced That's by right. you. <laughs> Okay, so we would really love to have your opinion on what you have in your wardrobe that is essential to you. Things that you wouldn't go without if you had to have five things. Write in, comment, let us know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And join us again next week for another one of these informative videos. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you can get notification every time we post a video.